I just built a fully native iOS sleep application, dream recording, snore analysis, full app store ready without writing a single line of code. Forget hiring developers. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how anyone can do this with zero experience from idea to design all the way to full development and ready for the app store. Let's get started. So my favorite part, time to start cooking. So with so many of these apps in the app store, we know these are successful apps. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a few of the features from the best ones and we're going to make our own. So the first thing is our initial prompt. We're going to be using Rourke. You guys could check out all the links below. And of course, if you try Rourke, buys me a cup of coffee. I'm always super grateful for that. I want to make a sleep tracking and snoring native react application. I want the app to track, measure and record snoring and all of my sleep habits. I also want to do a fun one and record my dreams. So if somebody starts talking, I want to record it. Make the UI super modern and clean. There's our prompt. Now we see what the first version is going to be. I don't want to send any reference images yet. I want to first see what it can actually create. So this is the best part. So if you guys have never used work before, this is a full blown app building platform. Think of it like cursor, lovable, bolt, but for applications and you can build native react applications. We can actually publish this to the app store. So we got our first version here you can see we already have our sleep. We have our statistics. Oh, wow, it already built all this. I don't even say any of this. And we do have one issue. So let's fix that now. When you're actually building applications for production, so we're actually going to be publishing this in the App Store. What I want to do is I always want to set up Git. If you guys aren't familiar, just go to github.com and create a repository for your project. And Rourke directly integrates with Git so you're able to actually do versioning. It saves it. And then that way, if you have any issues, you can always go back to the last version that was actually working. So very important step. I'm going to wait for this error to fix and then we're going to publish it to Git. So now we fixed the issue. But what I want to show you right here on the screen. So this is actually my phone screen. So whatever you guys see on there is actually my phone. So when we launch this application, just for the rest of the video, you guys are actually going to see what it looks like on my phone. Because a lot of times what you see on the actual screen is not actually what's represented on the phone. And also if you're plugged in, it's able to then debug and find all the errors with your project. If the phone is not connected, then you're not going to be able to actually get the errors. So make sure your phone is actually plugged in and then you're able to see exactly what is going on with the project. Just like that. So now we have the app. So look, I can scroll and there is everything that is actually on the app. So really good first step. It already fixed the settings. This is pretty insane. I'm actually can't believe how quickly this actually did it. So with that said, now I want to set up Git because we already are too far. I want to actually set it up. So create a repository right here. So we're going to call this Rourke Sleep and then we're going to connect this. We're going to push this so it's being saved. So now we have created it correctly. So let me hit refresh and there it is. So now we have it under my name. We have Rourke Sleep and now everything I do from this point forward, any changes, it's automatically going to push that so I can always go back to the version that was working last. This is something you have to start doing, especially if you're trying to make products for production. Next, so actually, let's see if the sleep feature works. So we're going to click sleep, access the microphone, and it actually is working. This is pretty insane. So if I hit wake up, now I actually have it recorded, as you can see right here. It didn't save the correct time yet. Oh, no, it did. Oh, it actually is the correct time. And then I can click in. It has the duration, it has the quality, and it has the snore episodes. Wow. So this is a one shotter, guys, what you're looking at. Then we also have the stats, which we definitely need to fix the stat page, as you can see there. And then we have snoring detection sensitivity from one to 10, more sensitive. We have sleep goals. What is our sleep goal? So for example, me, I want to do six and a half hours. Bedtime reminders about us privacy terms of service. I'm actually kind of blown away. I was really expecting it to have way less information than this. And make sure you guys download Expo Go. Just go to the App Store, type in Expo Go, and then you're able to actually be able to preview your app on your phone. With that all working, now what I want to do is I want to add a recording feature. I want you to record the actual dreams so then I can have it analyze and play back the actual snoring. Make sure all the audio playback Buttons are there. All right, we got all the fixes in. Let's try it. So we're going to go sleep. That's my sleeping noise. Now we got that. Oh, look at that. And now we have the sleep Tuesday. That's today. We got the correct dates. And then we also have show sleep. Now look how beautiful that looks. And now we have the recording. Here it is. 
we can play it back. That is insane. We can delete it. Let's try another one. And then we can go into the details. Now we have it in there. We can see the recording in here too. The statistics obviously are empty as you can see here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it some placeholders. I'm just gonna say fill out the next 30 days with placeholders so I could actually see all of the different metrics and statistics. Let's try that now. Let's take a look at the new build. So you guys are gonna see it on screen. It's looking really good though. We have a few more things to do and we're gonna be done. Add sample data. So what add sample data will do is it's just gonna give me all the different sleeps because obviously I can only track one day. So check this out. So when you're building apps and you have to have some type of metrics and statistics, now we have a bunch of different sleeps. And then if I go to statistics, look at that. Eight hours, 45 minutes average, everything works. Here's the sleep quality. Look at these beautiful charts. Then we have snoring analysis. 100% of the nights with snoring. Then we have dream analysis. So the one thing that I didn't mention was I added a dream state. When you go down and you add a sleep, so let's try it. So that's my sleep voice. So now I have it. Then when I click into it, let me go in really quick. Then on the bottom, you guys will see there is a thing called dreams right here. Let me actually do this correctly. You guys can see there's called dreams. And if I click on that, I could actually record a dream. And I had the craziest dream. I was talking about launching this sleep app and it did 10,000 MRR in the first day. Hint, then we have it so I can play it back. And I had the craziest dream. I was talking about launching oh, this sleep app, here, but it recorded 10 seconds. And then you can save it. And now it has the dream, as you can see right there, it has the saved dream. So we're definitely making some massive progress. Everything saves. We're able to get all the analysis. We're able to actually record our dream, analyze our dream, add our dream states. It keeps stats. See, dude, now we have two dreams, 29. It's got the snoring analysis. It has sleep quality, sleep duration, and the different times. And guys, I don't know what much more I could do for this. I'll definitely have a play. I'll clean it up. I'll probably do a little redesign, but this is the full complete build out. So the next thing I want to do is I want to show you really quick the whole idea of the Apple developer account. So make sure you guys have a developer account. Just log in, set up. It's $99 per year. So really easy to set up. Make sure you set up your business, have it all connected. And then once you're done, you go into apps right here. You need to create an actual application on the App Store because the goal with this is we're going to actually launch this on the App Store. So you can see we have two games that are almost ready that we're going to be finishing up. You're going to go up to apps. You're going to click the plus sign. And now we're going to create this new app. So the name is, oh, we need to come up with a name actually. Shoot. Let me just do it real quick. I know I can change it, but I just made a sleep analysis and snoring plus dream tracking application for iOS, period. I need a really fun play on this app name, period. Give me a hundred examples, maximum two words. So this is what I normally do when I come up with names. So let's see what it comes up with. And the reason I said a hundred examples, which you guys are going to be like, what the heck is because I feel like the first 20, 30 is always the same ones that they always give everybody. So once you go past uh, 20, 50, 100, then you really get to the good stuff. So REM spot, app boost, REM align, snore rise, REM nest, dream core. Ooh, dream core is kind of fun. Nap pulse, REM vault. Ooh, REM vault is perfect. EM vault, the sleep analysis tool. Let's go with that. I think that's actually really good. Let's see if that exists. Full stack, nothing with sleep. All right, so we should be good. I'll definitely double check it later. But that's the process. All right, so here we go. So we're going to go REM vault. Hopefully people understand what that is. I'll probably change it later, but all right, then we're going to go English. So I'm going to show you this really quick. I'm just going to run through this and then you guys will understand. So bundle ID, this is the identifier that you need to create that's going to have all your certificates, your profiles, everything. But this is what's going to connect to Rourke. So when you go back to Rourke, if you go to publish right here, publish to App Store, that's what it's actually going to use. And the way you get that information is right here. You click here and now this is all of our info. So right here, we're going to go and put in REM Vault. Then we have the identifier. So this is the one that you guys are going to get from your App Store. So let's actually finish that. So we're going to go bundle identifier. So SKU is our unique identifier that is not visible to users, it's only for you. So we're so we're going to call this REM Vault V1. So this is referring to your users on your store. So if you have developers, finance people, are they going to have access to it? So we're going to go full access. Then we're going to go iOS. Make sure you select that up here. You got iOS, you also have Mac, TV, and Vision. 
and then we're going to hit create. And just like that, we've created the actual app in the app store. Next is all the boring stuff. And this is stuff that you don't rush through on a video. This is stuff that you actually do. So you got your promotional text, go back to chat GPT, write all your text. You got descriptions, keywords, your support URL and your marketing URL. This is very important. So you need to actually have like privacy policy and all this stuff. So building a landing page, which obviously you can do using any kind of no code tools. You have your app review information. This is all the info on you that you would be putting in there. And then once you have that in there, you obviously have privacy. So this is where you put your privacy policy. You just have to fill out this whole stuff fully categories, age ranges. Just go through this. Don't rush this part. This is very important because if you miss a, one thing, your app won't get approved. So that is the biggest thing about the app store. And like I said, they are very strict. So make sure you guys do this correctly. Now we have our app store connected with Rourke. And then once we actually have it fully completed here, and there's still a lot of things you got to do, right? Because launching and production is completely different. But again, that'll make for a massive long video. And that's not the point of this. The point of this is how to build it, how to get your development account set up on Apple, which I said is $99, how to set this up correctly, make sure you do all your categories, and then have it all ready and primed. So when your app is actually done and tested, I would send it to test flight, which is our next step. So now what you can do is if you go in here, you could see that we have published to the app store. You can click on that. And then this is the most important part. So then you log in right here. Again, I don't need to do this because I'm not launching it yet. You set up expo, another step, you confirm it and then you publish it. And then you guys are done. That's it. And it's going to go to test flight inside the app store. So then once you get into the app store, let me show you on one of our live apps. You go right here into test flight and then what this will give you links that you could then share with other people. And this is the number one thing is you guys have to check your applications. Don't try to publish it to the app store unless every single button and every single screen is actually tested and working. It'll just avoid you a lot of stress. So I'm just giving you kind of professional experience with launching a bunch of apps in the past is take the extra couple of days, send it to every family member. Hey, can you guys use this and try to break it? So make sure you guys do that and you use that with test flight because that's actually inside the Apple ecosystem. Expo Go is one thing that's for testing locally when you're building, but make sure you put it out on test flight because that's going to be the complete build that you guys actually finish. And then you can actually distribute that, make sure it works, fix all any bugs, run it back to them again. And then once that is actually complete, then you actually submit your application. And that is the last step. And that is step right here. So let me go in really quick, go to the app store. And that would be number four, which is actually publish. So I'll definitely do a follow up video, most likely in our private community. You guys could check it all out below. And of course, if you guys want to try work, I always appreciate it. Buys me a cup of coffee. But for now, we have our full sleep analysis app. You saw it from start to finish from concept. We've built out all the screens. We have every single thing that you would need to actually make this application live minus a few tweaks, but everything works. As you saw, you can record your dreams. You can write your actual physical dreams, record those too. You have settings, you got sleep tracking, you have the snoring detection sensitivity, record dreams, auto dream. You have even reminders, which I don't even go over. So all of it works. You got privacy policy. So now a nice cleanup. So the other thing is obviously pricing. Is it a free app? Is it freemium? Free plus a trial plus some weekly or monthly payment. So for us, what you do is you click on pricing and availability. And then here is where you add pricing. So for us, we're going to do, for example, a free app. And then we're going to do free all over. So make sure you guys complete that. And this is all within the app store. Make sure you put this in there. $2.99 a week and $9.99 a month, for example, for the app or whatever the pricing ends up being. So you guys can decide that, but make sure you guys put that all in here. And then what you can actually do is use Stripe's new payments to bypass the app store. And if you guys want that information, like I said, I'm going to do a follow up for this, but I want to just rush through this so you guys can see this. That bypasses Apple and you pay just a small 2.9% for Stripe and you keep the rest of the money just like that. So user authentication, and then it actually does it for you. And that's essentially it. So you connect those last pieces and you have a complete app that is actually using Rourke to build, design, publish, and get it all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video. And of course, if you guys check out any of the links, my name is Marcin AI. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Of course, let me know in the comment section what I should do next.